Hey you guys, it's Josh. Um, I just want to show you real quick how you can uh, transfer files and really big files through Acrobat really quickly. It, it works very similar to Dropbox, uh, but it's built right into your Creative Cloud uh, account. So you automatically get a lot of free space. I forget how many gigs it is that you get right off the bat. Um, but if anybody, you know, you need to send something quick and you're already in there, this is a really easy way to do it. So what we'll do is open up Adobe Acrobat, uh, go to tools. <clears throat> and, uh, what we want to do is you want to choose, uh, send and track. So choose send and track. It's going to ask you to pick the files. So we just say select file to, to send. We want you to send, uh, I'm going to send out this, uh, spread from my style guide for my uh, comic book so we just click on it hit continue it shows it there now at this point you can create an anonymous link all that is is going to store it on your your iCloud account or well not iCloud I guess it's whatever they call the uh, Adobe Cloud account and uh, you'll get a URL and you can send that URL to anybody and anybody can access it and download the file directly to their computer or you can choose send personalized invitation and that will only send it to that one person and it encrypts the file so only they can access it um but we'll just do a anonymous link so everybody can try downloading it uh hit create link and uh we'll probably this should go fairly fast um it's not a very big file it's just a vector file imported into uh acrobat um, once it comes up, you'll get this little thing here that says uh, copy it. You can copy the link or send it. We'll just copy it, hit close, and it's been uploaded there. Now, if you need to go back and you want to get rid of that file or manage it or replace it or whatever you need to do, um, if you go back to home and you choose your document cloud, uh, this folder here is going to show all the files that you've uploaded for send and track. So just double click on that. This shows all the files. Um, there's the one I just uploaded. And from there you can actually, uh, you can choose if you need to share it again, you just click on it and it'll give you the options of whether you want to delete it or rename it or move it, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Once you have that link, you can send that link out by email to whoever you want or instant message. Person clicks it and they can download it instantly. Uh, I haven't sent huge files, but even up to like 150 megs, I've uploaded on there and it has no trouble with it. Um, I haven't tried anything like in the gig range. Usually, I just drop that on an FTP if I'm moving files that big. Uh, but with this, um, worked really well. So. Something to think about, you know, if you already have that software and you're working in it, it's really quick. Um, that's pretty much it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.